Hello and welcome back to tutorial 68. If you remember in the first part of this tutorial, we were drawing horizontal lines between two times that we user specified in the user inputs and finding the highest high during uh, those times and the lowest low between those times. And we were drawing these lines. And then between the uh, end time here and the start time, uh, we or rather the end time of the next period, we were then determining if the price were to break through either the upper channel, it closed through the upper channel line or closed through below the lower channel line. And if it did, we created an alert. I offer, uh, also offered a, another version of the program where you could extend the lines if, if you wish to from the start to the next start. And uh, that was available for download. Well, I had several people who said to me, well, I think we could improve the program a little further. And so that's what I've done in this new version, which is available for download at no additional charge to the existing download. And what I've done, I've added the values of the lines to the lines. I've also included a middle line here and included its value. I've also included the options to either extend or not extend. So if we were to change extend to false, and uh, click OK, then we'll see that uh, rather than extending the lines, we've just got the line ending at the end time and we've included the values there. Also got the option to uh, just do it for today. So I'm gonna say extend is true, but just today is also true. In which case we only plot the lines for the current date, like you can see here. So this, uh, this new program includes a several uh, programming techniques that you may find useful to uh, find out about. And uh, for, for, a, for instance, in the original program with the, uh, the lines, we could just set extend to true. And then as soon as the, the uh, end time was reached, we would then stop the extension for the line and just set the endpoint. Now you can't really do an equivalent of set extend for the, the text. So what we've actually done in this program is at uh, every end time, we have drawn the text for historical parts of the, uh, the chart. But then for the, the current date, what we've done is we draw the text at the end time and then we move it along as the chart develops. Uh, in which uh, in which case hopefully we're reducing some of the programming uh, power that is required of the computer because for historic uh, events we're just drawing it once we're not drawing it at the end time and then moving along every single bar we only do that for the uh, the current date as it is uh, developing and several other things which I think you might find useful if you were to uh, download the program and uh, read the comments. Anyway, I hope you uh, might find this additional program useful. Thank you very much.